HMAR Mobile Tech channel. I am working on a 2011 GMC Terrain 3 liter and the passenger side low beam light bulb is out and it's still in right now and I kind of have everything kind of sort of semi taken apart that way I can make this video as quickly as I can. Mrs. N is filming today so give her a thumbs up for uh, doing that. It's always so nice to have somebody film. Um, so. Uh, what you're gonna do is you'll need a couple tools here. So if you look over here, I've got a quarter inch ratchet. I got a 10 millimeter uh, deep socket or shallow socket is fine with extensions, a little pry tool, and then whatever your choice of whatever the T20 Torx um, tool that you have is going to be used to remove this cover. And I'll show you where that is here in a sec. So use this pry tool and you'll just take out these little tabs so I got everything kind of already ready. Um, the reason this is so easy is because I've already taken it off. So if you look over here, there's these little things here that are pushed in right here. So these little quick tabs here, they go in here and here, okay? So, um, so let's get all this off and get that out of the way. And then the next thing we're gonna do is, um, I've already turn the wheel to the right to give me access to get in inside there's a, a little plate here and you can see there's a big hole exposed and the reason for that is because of this cover um, it it's in there to where there's a um, there's a hole there for the t20 screw and so um, you'll just find it where it lines up uh, left to loosen right to tighten so I've already got that little screw out of there. It's a T20 Torx, so get that out of there. What you're looking at here is once this cover is off, um, you, can, you can see down and see what you're doing. I found it easier to give me a bit more room in case I wanted to come in going this way to uh, you just disconnect the mass airflow sensor and this other uh, sensor over here, loosen up this clamp with either an eight millimeter or a flathead screwdriver, and then there's two 10 millimeter headed bolts that are back here. Back here there's two, one and two. So once all those are out, you can take the air box out. And there's a little kind of a grommet thing here, right there, and then you just kind of lift it up and get that out of the way. And in case you wanted to get in this way, you could move that over and get that out. So um, there's a cover right here that I've already taken off. If you look here, there's an arrow and it shows lock. So uh, this way to tighten, this way to loosen. So in here, straight down, with that access hole that we got through the little plastic here up under the fender, you'll see this, uh, this little cover here. If you can see me fidgeting around in here and the light bulb is under here. Um, I found it easy to, to, to push on this little, this little bar here if you need to, but it's got little grips on it so you can just kind of grab it. So I believe that little tip kind of points downward. So you just kind of go past a little bit to tighten it down. I'm kind of doing this in reverse, but anyway, just to kind of show you how it works. And so then to loosen it, you go to the left just a little bit, probably 12 to 15 millimeters, something like that. Pull the cover off. And then the light bulb, if you look down here, is um, there's a there's a connector on it. Sorry. Uh, okay, there's a connector on it. If you can see me uh, kind of fidgeting around in there, that tip there, you just kind of push back going that way, and then you just pull pull down. Okay, so once you pull down, you'll get the connector off. Don't pull on the wires, pull on the actual connector itself. And then you just turn it to the left to loosen it out of there, just like you did the little access cover. And uh, so here, anything that, that is difficult for me to see, I'll just show up above in a picture. Okay, so once you twist it, so it's in this way, and all you're doing is twisting it that much and pulling it straight out, because it's got these little teeth in there that lock in. So then when it goes back in, it goes back in this way, and you turn it to the right, and then the, the, por the portion of the light bulb electrical um, plug will be pointed downwards. So like if you look at a clock, it'll be at six o'clock, okay? So I got the bulb out. Remember to wear gloves. This bulb here 
doesn't doesn't make any difference because I already know that it's bad. And just in case you wanted to know, I did make another video that I will upload on how to test it with a digital multimeter to see if the light bulb is actually bad so that you can limit the amount of diagnostic time to figure out what's going on with your car. Obviously, if the light bulb isn't working on one side, but the other side is working, odds are it's not a fuse problem or an electrical problem. But anyway, so here's the new bulb. For this particular car, it's an H11 halogen. This is a, a low beam light bulb, okay? So um, reason for gloves is you don't want oil or grease or anything to be touching the bulb because it'll concentrate and it will damage the bulb wherever you touch your little fingerprints on that. So let's get rid of that one here and then let's come over here. So um, just uh, as you're gonna see it as the camera over here, I'm just gonna go in and kind of go this way because I'm gonna turn it this way. So I'm just gonna real gently just kind of make sure I'm going the right direction. And then if you see my fingers down there, you'll see how I'm just feeling around for the hole and you can always look in there. I'm feeling for it right now to make sure I'm getting it aligned. Okay, there we go. And then so I'm getting it in until I feel it seat in. And then you'll see it's flat and I'm turning it down to six o'clock and it stops. So when you're turning it to loosen it, it's to the left. When you're turning it to tighten it, it's to the right. So then it's in and I feel that it's in and it's, you can look down and you can see that it's, um, you'll probably have to look in there to make sure that it's actually straight. But if it goes in easy and turns easy, it's in straight and you can kind of feel it with your fingers. And then just plug in the electrical connector, just straight up, just how you took it off. Everything is, is in the reverse of the removal. And then you just push up. You can see my fingers down there. And you'll hear a little, usually you'll hear a little click on the connector. And then just, I like to do a little tug backwards, pull, and make sure that the connector doesn't come off. And then I just make sure it's on. And then now I'm just, just going to verify that everything's good. You did a good job. Subscribe, like, and share. Watch some of my other videos. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.